Hey everybody, Brett from Astartes Gaming here, back with another episode of our Battle Brothers Let's Play. In the last episode, we fought quite a large battle on behalf of the uh, House of Growl, who is uh, this yellow banner with the green dragon on it, uh, against House Armsburg, or not Armsburg, sorry, um, is it Krieger? Let's see, I think it's Krieger. Yeah, House Krieger. Armsburg is the green one. So, we had been pretty friendly with House Krieger up to um, last episode, and we basically, you know, had to finally commit to a faction. The Civil War is a free-for-all, so it's, you know, every, every house for themselves. Eventually, we were going to have to commit to one of them, and so we ended up siding with the one that offered us a really well-paying job, and uh, seemed to be winning the Civil War. Uh, they have taken two settlements from the other factions where I don't think the other factions have gained any ground on one another so these guys are far and away out in front made plenty of sense to join them that's what we did we ended up killing some scouts from House Krieger and then participating in a very large battle between Krieger and Growl so that battle cost us I think two brothers and dealt some pretty severe wounds to a few others uh, Uhtred nearly died but he did lose an eye John is not looking particularly great either. He's got holes in his arms and legs. Luckily, we've got this all treated, so it's just a matter of giving them a little bit of time to rest. So, today we're going to try to get back into things, but maybe give them a little bit of time to recover. There is a bunch of work here, though. Uh, if I remember right, this is delivery. Yeah. Wallstein a day to the southeast. Where is Wallstein again? Wallstein uh, oh, over here I don't think we'll bother with that that's kind of out of the way we also have um, defending Scalistead from raiding parties I would very much like to do this one but I think we need to rest just a little bit first so let me think on that as well and then what was this one um, I don't know that we're going to be able to do this today or at all, really. We'll probably decline this one and see if something similar comes up later, but given the shape we're in, this is just not viable right now. We would probably lose, if not everybody, to this battle. Uh, enough brothers that we would have a hard time recovering from it. So I'm going to decline that one. Something like this, I think, is more our speed right now. Ideally, we wouldn't be fighting at all, but... I do worry we're going to miss out on this opportunity if we leave it too long. So, I think what I'll do is I'll accept this. Uhtred, I'm going to swap you out and put Gerald in so that you can rest. I don't worry as much about the people in the back line because they shouldn't be getting attacked all that much. And their hit points really aren't that bad. It's more that they just have these debilitating injuries that are going to affect their skills a little bit. So they're not going to be very accurate with their weapons, but that's fine. It's worse to have somebody like Uhtred up front who can't really defend himself. So like what, minus 30% minus to his melee defense and minus 45 to his initiative. So uh, dodge would be useless too. He'd be taking a lot of hits. And he's only got 10 HP, so he definitely needs to sit. Everybody else I think is good to go though. Bartle, yeah, you're only down 4 HP. You guys aren't too bad. I think we'll be alright. You know what? Why don't you take that? I will mark this for repair, though. That way he's got full armor. Which should help compensate for the fact that he's missing a little bit of hit points. Okay. So we just need to hang out in this area. I'll set up a camp. And we'll wait until... The raiding party shows up. Actually, a camp seems unwise because I can't move around when I do that. So let's just kind of circle the area, I guess. I don't know what is raiding Scalistead, but we'll find out shortly. Brigands, okay. There they are, there's 11 of them. Uh, looks like it's probably going to be three or four marksmen and seven or eight raiders. So this is going to be a pretty tough fight. They're um, going to be a very similar party to our own. 
So, I guess we're as ready as we're going to be. You guys should have your javelins out. And I don't know about that spear. Let's give him a hand axe. That'll be a little bit more effective against human enemies, I think. At least human enemies in heavy armor. Okay. We'll try to cut them off. Looks like they're coming straight for us, and in we go. Okay. Might be wise to fall back just a little bit to try to occupy some of this terrain here. If we could get um, Hassan up on this, that would make him a little bit more effective. Or potentially uh, Ulrich on there, but I don't think we need to do that. They're not extremely heavily armored. The best armor they have is probably this chainmail right here and right here. And none of them are carrying especially heavy shields. They've all got just round shields or nothing. So, as far as brigand raiders go, these guys are pretty lightly equipped. Let's fall back just a little bit. Um, they do have crossbows, and those will hurt. Good block there, Hugo. We need to get him renamed. We need to get a lot of people renamed. I just keep forgetting to check the... Well, I haven't really got a lot of submissions. I've gotten... Like, one or two recently, but it's been several, like, tens of episodes since uh, I was getting frequent submissions. Let's see, 82, 82, 82. Who do I worry about the most? That hammer could be nasty, but so could this flail. Your armor's worse, though, so this is more likely to hurt you. Cool. So it would have done more damage to him than him. Uh, fall back and 37 or 40. Right, let's focus on you. Uh, I wonder how many they're going to hold back. Let's see. Hop back there. Put a javelin in his direction. You guys need to start pulling back as well. You know what? That was a mistake. Um, I wish there was like an undo. I could have attacked once and then stepped back. Oh well. Oh well. Just a dumb play right there. Okay. Everybody fall in. These aren't orcs, so we don't need to worry about like counter charging or anything. Can you put a shot into him as well? Nice. And why don't you lob a javelin in his direction? Okay. So it looks like they're keeping one in reserve to sort of protect their archers. Which means it'll be a little bit less that we have to deal with up here. Actually, they're doing a pretty good job keeping their archers tight to the formation. Let's see. Reload. We'll put another shot into him. So there's one less brigand to deal with. Okay. Um, Ulrich's taking a lot of hits from these ranged weapons, but his armor's holding pretty well. Let's see, 60%. We could try to drop one into the back line. Let's see if we can't do that. Nice. Well done there. Uh, let's stay on him. But that looked like it might hit the guy in front of him. So, you only have one target right now. I could wait, or we could just hit this guy. I say we just hit him. Or miss, I guess. But yeah, we could have waited to see if anybody else is going to step in. Go ahead and throw one, but since he's in melee range of your pike now, let's have you switch and stab. Another miss. That's disappointing. We'll wait there. You can start hacking away at him. Two solid hits there. That's what I like to see. We'll have you wait. You can continue to skirmish. I think he's your best target. No shield, after all. Okay. Um, Richard, swing away. Oh, two misses. That's disappointing. Grim, let's wait. We'll see if any of them move up. So he's not going to engage this turn. He's in range, so we'll probably have Ulrich focus on him. And it looks like you guys are just going to wait. Okay, so what are they going to do? Another shot on Ulrich. That's unfortunate. Uh, try to kill this guy. Nice. It's one less range weapon we have to worry about. God. They're really giving it to him with these ranged weapons. More axes coming his way, I'm sure. Uh, no, maybe not. 
All right, shoot the guy with the pole axe there, because that's a pretty nasty weapon. Thank you for that kill. Uh, you can't attack again, so I guess we'll just end your turn. John, yeah, keep shooting this guy. Oh, that was a little bit long. Interesting that he didn't go after Ulrich. Uh, round swing there that missed. Nice kill. That broke to their morale. And if he got hit, he'd probably break as well. Chop this guy up for me. Nice. Uh, we'll advance now. I don't see any point in sitting back any longer. Okay, uh, let's micro you forward. Oh, that broke him. Why don't you step one more? And that's going to lock both of them down, potentially. Um, Orca, throw a javelin. And then get your pike out and attack. Nice. Ooh, that was a real nasty hit. Okay. Hugo, start um, rounding that flank. Bartle will put you here. That's going to force him to switch to a melee weapon. Richard, you just broke his morale, so hop in there and attack him. Nice. This guy is going to take some injuries, trying to flee. Oh, that was a nice little shot he got through. Let's put some arrows back in that direction. Nice hit. My archers came to play today. All right, step forward, stab him. Go ahead and reload him, fire back there as well. Damn. John, can you get one through? Sweet. So he's got like what? One hit point left? We've got to make sure he doesn't get away. Um, can you bump him back? No. Oh, that's a bummer. I should probably work on destroying that shield. Let's have you try to scoot past, get in here so that he can't get away. Um, Ulrich, step forward. We will keep people adjacent to this raider so he can't get away, but I want to put people in positions where they can also help out with the ones that are still fighting. That's uh, a miss. Um, Gerald, since you're pretty new, you can have that kill. And then step forward, I guess. We'll have you step in, hit that guy in the head. Nice, good kill. And then we'll step in to surround this guy and trap them. Good hit, can we get another? Nice. Uh, why don't you jump forward to here where you can help out. Richard, um, I guess you can try to get this guy off the battlefield. Okay, um, two more hits to him as he tries to flee. Oh. That guy managed to duck through, which is unfortunate because now we have nobody there to get him. That puts him... Oh, it doesn't put him in range. At least not for a quick shot. It might be in range of an aim shot. Well, that's really all you can do, isn't it? Aldrich, let's get you to there. Hassan, I need you to run forward. And John, let's do the same. Um, crap. Okay. Good hit. Can we get another? No. He's coming right back with the military pick. And ooh, we give a nice shot to Hugo. Let's have Ulrich wait, because I think I can get him in position to attack this guy. That's another good hit. Gerald, um, I guess you can try to take this kill as well. Grim, let's get that shield out of his hands. That'll make things a lot easier for us. And then Richard, if you move anywhere else, like that's fine. That'll let Ulrich step up into that spot. Bartle, hop in here. Good kill. Um, shift over, I guess. That broke him, so this fight is done. It's just a matter of killing everybody that's left. He's probably gone. He'll die right there. You can step forward and take a swing here. And we'll say it's over. We're not going to catch that archer. Okay, uh, two level ups. Nice. And a lot of decent loot. We finally got some armor, and we got the long axe. Um, that's all I really care about. Everything else is probably trade fodder. Okay, and we didn't even have to travel very far. 
So let's hop back into town. We'll collect our crowns and we'll see what this new contract is. We should also get this pierced side treated. Um, let's do the level ups too before I forget. So uh, you definitely need some resolve. I think hit points are probably wise too, even though we'll probably give him Colossus here with this level up. And I'm not sure what else. I guess a little bit of melee defense. For his perk, we will go Colossus, just to keep him alive. The second one, I'll probably go Student to help him catch up. But I, I want him to have more hit points in case, you know, he ends up nearly dying or something before we get that far. For Franklin, you are an archer, so we'll definitely go with range skill. More resolve, for sure. And your fatigue doesn't really matter. Your initiative does. Oh, excuse me, my door just blew shut. Um, initiative does matter because he has dodge. But just some straight up range defense would also be useful. So let's take that three because that's a pretty good roll. And then for this perk, I think um, Colossus is a good choice on any character because it's just more hit points. But for an archer, something like footwork is good because that'll allow him to step out of zones of control without triggering attacks of opportunity. So if he does get engaged in melee, he can move out of it. I think that's probably wise. The only other thing I can think of, like Brawny would free up more of his fatigue, but for archers, fatigue isn't as much of a problem. Anticipation is good to buff range defense. Relentless helps a lot with dodge because it keeps your initiative high. It basically halves the initiative you lose throughout the battle to fatigue because as you get more and more fatigued your initiative gets lower and lower this cuts that penalty in half so it keeps your initiative higher than it would otherwise be keeping your dodge skill higher than it would otherwise be so there's footwork um, lone wolf can be good for an archer but I tend to keep them pretty tight to the formation because the front line acts as a nice little barrier to you know incoming missiles so I don't think that'll be super useful underdog is good for your guys on the flanks reach advantage is useless for him uh, berserk can be good on an archer it can let you get a couple of shots off if you're able to kill people but hmm fearsome I don't know if that's useful on an archer Killing Frenzy could be good on anybody. Battle Forge is good on anybody. For now, I guess let's just go Footwork. And we'll think about what we want to add later. Okay, so that's done. Let's see what this is. They're going to pay me 840 to do what? Uh, track down some thieves. Uh, we'll do that, but let me... Let me just make sure we're done here first. Is there anybody I would like to hire? Uh, another archer, a pretty good one at that, but I don't know that I need another archer, if I'm being honest. I've got three, which is generally the most I ever run, because they're of limited use in a lot of situations. Obviously, you do want ranged characters, because otherwise the enemy can just kind of sit back and use terrain against you. But at the same time, um, when things get hectic, they become of a, a very limited use because, you know, if there's somebody standing in front of your target, you can't hit them very easily. Uh, when the two lines ultimately collide, they're almost generally better off switching to their pikes and using those. But still, having some ranged weapons is important. Uh, oh, we should sell all this stuff too before we leave. So I probably won't hire any of them. But if we visit another town, I almost certainly will hire somebody just to make up for the losses that we had. Uh, let's see, let's see. I'm going to sell one of those. I'm going to sell both of these. I still have a crossbow there, so let's sell both of those. A uh, quiver of bolts and a quiver of arrows. So I don't need this quiver of bolts. Actually, that one 
but it's also nine, so yeah, it doesn't matter. I was gonna say it would save us a little bit of ammunition, but it wouldn't. I'll keep this long axe, because that's a good weapon. Spear can go. These can all go. Um, I'll maybe hang on to daggers just for farming armor down the line. Arming sword is of little use to me. I have one of these, so I don't need two more. I'll keep this helmet, though. And I'll keep this armor. And the shield, I guess. Is there anything else I can get rid of? Maybe a pike. I've got a lot of different polearm weapons, so having an extra pike is kind of useless at this point. And... I think that's okay. So that puts us at almost 5,000. We really need to visit an armorer. Unfortunately, the nearest armorer is no longer willing to interact with us because we basically declared war on them. Okay. So let's accept this. And the tracks look to be going northeast. There they are. Easy enough. It's nine thieves. Um, I can't quite get the tooltip to pop up long enough to see what we're dealing with. A few thugs, a few marksmen, and some raiders. This is going to be an easier fight than the one we just fought against similar opponents. Okay, in we go. Right. This is a very, very plain battlefield. Let's let them approach a little bit. Of course, they go after Ulrich. Uh, if they don't move, we'll just go at them. Okay, they are going to come to us. Even still, we outnumber them, so I might play this a lot more aggressively than I normally would. Good hit. Uh, we'll wait, because I might want to move you. 60% back there. That's a nasty weapon, but so is this, because it can cause a lot of bleed. Um, but I should also be taking shots at their archers. Let's shoot this guy. Nice. Okay, so up they come. He's going to shift over here. That's okay, that flail will take him to pieces. Uh, lob some javelins this way. Oh, nice hit. Wow, apparently you really wanted to hit him. Ulrich. Uh, drop the hammer on this guy. Nice. Destroyed his headgear and dealt with a lot of his hit points. Let's just engage here. No point in waiting around. You can shift down that way. Uh, let's get rid of the shield. Maynor. Is it worth putting you there? I think I'm going to have you avoid them. And Richard, if you step up, go here, and I guess attack there. Should have figured he'd block it. Grim, you're going to step in here to prevent that guy from engaging Maynor. And get rid of that shield so that we can start attacking him properly next turn. Hugo, step up. Go for the head. Actually, no, just go for a regular attack because his headgear still intact, even though it is crap. There we go. Good job, Hugo. Franklin! Put an arrow into that marksman, please. Damn. Aldrich, go ahead and switch to your pike, because you won't be able to move, throw, and attack, so moving and attacking is good enough. Good kill. I won't be able to move you up, because these guys are in the way, so we'll just end your turn, even though you did have enough AP to move. And we'll step you forward one. Okay, shot incoming. I managed to get it around the shield, but ultimately the armor held. That looked on target, but it wasn't, luckily for us. Two misses there. John, if you could shoot this guy. Thank you. Franklin, if you could also shoot that guy. Nice, two for two. Good blocks there. Um, he's holding position. My goal is to get Maynor in a spot where he can pin this guy down and force the marksman to draw a sword or something. Let's have you wait. I'd like to deal with that shield before I have you start attacking. Ulrich, um, just start swinging at this guy. Nice. Go ahead and fire there. Oh, come on. That was not even close. Why don't you shift this way? And Orca, gonna have you switch, step forward, and hopefully kill him. Good job. 
you can even move over here to help out with that one now. All right, can you get in there? No, not without uh, going through an attack zone. So we're gonna have to go here. This guy will probably step in to engage us. But if he does that, that at least gets him out of the way for my archers. If he doesn't, then I can step in and pre prevent this guy from shooting anymore. So either way, it sort of plays to our favor. Though ideally, I'd, I'd like to get him in a spot where he can't keep shooting at us. Good hit. Richard, um, I guess just keep swinging. I don't want to destroy that shield because it's going to take forever, but we might have to. Two more attacks there. And let's see, Hugo. Yeah, why don't you take that guy out of the fight? He's got no helmet, so you should be able to dome him pretty easily. So he did what I was expecting. He cut Maynard off, but again, that means that my archers can now shoot at him without having that guy's shield in the way. Oh, come on. We needed that. Let's have you hop forward to, say, there. Just to give you a little bit of protection and put you in range. He's going to fire back and hit his shield. Nothing doing there. Um, he got a crossbow bolt off, but it didn't matter. Is he in range? No, you do need to move forward. Hmm. Um, I think Quickshot has less range, right? Range of seven tiles, range of eight. Yeah, so he is in range, just not for a quick shot. Go ahead and fire at this guy in the meantime. Cool. Injured him. I'd like to get you closer, but that's going to have to do for now. Aldrich. There we go. Uh, Maynard should be able to win that. So Hassan, you are not in range of him, but we can't get you closer yet. Well, I guess we could. Did I put you out there, are you in range? Yeah, cool. Nice shot. Ulrich, drop the hammer on him again. Nope, no dice. Oh, that's a stun. It's about the only thing that weapon is useful for. Nothing to do in there. Orca, come on. That guy should not still be alive at this point. This guy's not doing so great, though. Good headshot. Let's have you start working your way over that archer. Okay, nothing doing. Come on, kill this guy. There we go. All right, they just broke. So... We'll try to clean him up real quick. We've got enough people over here that I'm not too concerned about sending reinforcements. Oh, wow, Richard just slayed them both. Go ahead and take a shot while you still can. Okay, uh, same here. So we're about to engage him in melee. We don't want to be firing into that. This guy's the only one left still tied up in melee. Damn, I was hoping we could just snipe him and fall in. But, nope. So everybody start shifting over. He's going to retreat. We'll try to catch him. I'll just have you keep swinging. Oh, he clipped you a little bit. Got much better armor, better shield, so I don't see a point in playing defensively over there, especially with reinforcements coming. Okay, keep moving. You can get to him. Perfect. So he's got to pull a melee weapon out now. Or keep trying to flee and risking attacks of opportunity. Alright. Get to there. That's going to let you attack either of them. You can fire here. Or you can step up to there and take a quick shot there. It's a little bit risky, but I'm not that concerned about friendly fire. Given his armor and shield. Actually, his armor's a bit beat up. I should be more careful. If you move there, you can't attack. But that's going to have to be okay. You know what? No, I'll put you here. If you can't attack anyways, we'll make you go farther. Reload, and uh, there's really nothing to do. You can step in and stab this guy. Good job. So he's going to draw his dagger. We'll just aim for his head with the flail and hopefully one-shot him. Grim, step in, start chopping his shield up. Gerald, you do the same. So shields out of the way. 
Uh, Bartle, sure, that's fine. We'll just try to surround him. Hugo, here you go, it's your chance. Oh, you missed. Richard. Um, yeah, that's probably easier. Okay. No more shield in the way. Now we just need to cut him down. He's still going to be a little bit hard to hit because of the, the sword, but whatever. Let's see. Hop in here. If you do the same, we can fire over the top. Ulrich, you want to kill? Nice. You can still move. Let's wait, because I think... People are going to shift around and give you some space to operate. And let's get you moved up. Let's have you wait as well. Grim, step in. Good kill. Alright, we're done. No level ups from that. Not really any useful loot, other than like maybe a hand axe. But not a lot of stuff that we need there. Okay, let's go collect our pay. And I think with all of this money that we have now, we're going to try to buy some tools because we desperately need tools. We'd also be well served in heading out to Summersburg where the other armor is. Now, before last episode, we could have just gone to Helvigburg where we'd been buying a lot of our armor. But now that this place is hostile to us, that's no longer an option. So I think we should just head out. It's nighttime and I don't see a point waiting till daylight just to shop at their market. There's plenty of other markets around. Though prices there might have been good because we cleared out all of the, you know, problems they were having. It's fine though. We just need some inexpensive tools and I want to shop armor. So Jerstall. Uh, oh, they have work too. It looks like we're going to be dealing with a Hexen though. Um, oh wow, their tools are almost not quite triple what they're worth, but we won't be buying any of those. I will be selling them some stuff though. I've got two daggers already. I think three is. Uh, what? At least one too many. I have spare bolts and arrows up there, so I will get rid of these bolts and arrows and those weapons. That hand axe um, probably doesn't need to stick around either. I already have a spare. This is a decent helmet though, so we'll see if we can make use of it. I should see if we can make use of this one too, though this is better. Okay, food is going to be overpriced here, so I'm not going to worry about buying anything else from them. What do they have for us? 1630. Um, so this is dealing with the Hexen or the Witch. I don't think I want to do that. I don't like fighting witches. It's very hard to beat them without losing somebody. Because often what they'll do is when it gets down to the end of the battle, they put a curse on one of your characters where that character takes any damage that the witch takes. And if she dies, then he also dies. And it's very hard to prevent them from doing that. You basically need to snipe the witch really early in the fight. And often you can't because she's on a part of the map that you can't see. So I, I generally don't like fighting them. Um, I'm not going to decline it outright yet, but I don't think we're going to do it. That's not a whole lot of money. To Summersburg. Uh, well, that's free provisions to go where we were already going, so sure, why not? Okay, off we go. The only downside to this is we probably won't be able to stop in Elkshorn, because we're just going to go this way. We won't get close enough for me to click on it. Uh... House Armsburg is the new ruler of Erwalden. Erwalden, I think, is down south this way. I think that was originally theirs, though. I think Erwalden was the first settlement that fell. So House Growl took it, and I think Armsburg has just taken it back. Though, I'm surprised we didn't get a quest from this faction to go join that battle or something. Maybe they didn't know the attack was coming. All this running about the land has increased the stamina of the men. One runs in place, holding a finger to his neck. He remarks that his heart rate isn't going up at all. Another brother remarks that the guy doesn't even know how to count. The running man pauses. Oh, that's right. So Ulrich the Oath Sworn gains plus one max fatigue. It'd be nice if it was like plus three or four or something. One is kind of irrelevant when you're talking about fatigue. Anyways, Summersburg, here we come. We'll get a nice little 
bit of coin just for escorting these guys somewhere where, where that nah, somewhere where we were already headed. They're also well supplied, so prices there should be decent. Let's see. Tools, yes, that is a very good price on tools. It is still more than they're worth, but it's rare to find them for even that low. Uh, I think a little bit of ammunition wouldn't hurt either. So we'll probably leave it there. Um, that's a nice helmet, but we have stuff that's better, so I'm not worried about that. The real reason why we're here is to check out the armor. So what can we afford? There's some cool stuff here, actually. Um, we have this noble male, which is quite good at 160. Actually, no. Why is that? I guess because it's so light? I don't know. That's something relatively new that they've added, I think, around the time of Beasts and Exploration, which is the DLC we're playing here. But that is very expensive for something with only 160 protection. This is 700 crowns less and it has 50 more protection. So that is a far better armor. There are two of them, but we can only afford one. Um, but we could do this and this leather scale or something. Though, I think the leather scale is only marginally better than a lot of what we're already wearing. Hmm. We've also got like leather shoulder guards, more male patches, some metal plates and rivets. I should be buying up all of these because that's our ambition is to have a lot of those so this isn't really an upgrade this lamellar harness is but that's a lot more money than the reinforced hauberk for what is a pretty marginal upgrade yeah it's 20 more protection but for 1400 more crowns where I could get that much more protection by just buying this and slapping it on there. So let's do one of these. Then I will buy all of these little attachment guys. Well, at least those. And I'd love to grab a helmet too, but that leaves us with less than a thousand crowns, so I think we'll wait until we do a couple more jobs. Now then, who gets this armor? Who's been with us the longest? Maynard's been with us from the start, so I think he's due for an upgrade. Maynard, you get this, and like I said, we'll slap a male patch on it, and that'll make it 230, which is as good as the Lameller Harness. Actually better because it's less fatigue for the same protection, so we made out better than we otherwise would have there. Um, this armor can now go to somebody like Gerald. Your armor is shredded. Utrid, how are you doing? It's still not great. Um, I guess, Gerald, you're going to wait a little bit longer to get your armor. I'm going to give that to Hugo. This will get repaired. And when this is repaired, Gerald can have it. Or at least when it's in a little bit better shape. Um, I just need to start throwing attachments on stuff. I just don't want to put them on things that aren't going to stick around. You have those dumb shoulder things. This would be more of an improvement. Hmm. But that does cost us one. How many attachments do we have? So we have one, one, two, three, four, five. I need one more. But I don't want to, like, waste anything. So, where does this make the most sense? Um, I don't know, to be honest. Like, are you guys going to be in that mail for a long time? Because I could give you... Hassan here, you're going to get these leather shoulder guards. It looks kind of dumb, but whatever, that's six. So, that is our ambition fulfilled. I don't know what we'll get for that, other than just a morale boost, but we'll see. But I'll try to continue adding those. I really like the attachments and stuff. Some of them just look cooler than others, and obviously it depends on the armor you're using. But, um, 
I, I don't want to waste them, so I'm going to try to incorporate them on the higher end armors that we have, rather than like the lower end ones. And we'll see how that goes. But anyways, that's time enough for today, so we'll leave it there. They didn't have any work for us, so we'll have to travel back to Elkshorn for jobs potentially, or go to Jerstall and see if we want to do that which mission. You guys are welcome to uh, state your position on that which mission, but I'm not too keen on it. So, otherwise, Elkshorn, and then maybe we'll head down south here. We haven't been to Huffschlag or Walstein in a while. But these are the only places we can visit now. Uh, these and Helvik. At least until this faction takes more territory. So, uh, with that, thank you guys so much for watching. I had a great time playing some Battle Brothers with you. And I look forward to seeing you back here for the next episode.